What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally won our... Let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look, because, well, you know. Oh, yeah, we won six badges. Okay, so we won our sixth badge, and, uh, well, it was quite a mission. Who would ever thought that fairy types would be that strong, especially when uh, your boy is on and off on Pokemon games and doesn't realize that, yeah, Fighting-type Pokemon are, are also weak to, to Fairy-type. So, yeah, comment down below, guys. I know. I know. Like I said, you guys comment down below. You let me know different things. I learn more from you guys than you guys learn from me. That's kind of why I do walkthroughs because, yeah, I like to learn and all that stuff. So now, in this episode, we're going to be going into the Pokeball Tower, I believe. And uh, there is something afoot. There is a big foot around here somewhere, and I just need to figure it out. And here it is. Hmm. Or the Pokeball Tower. So, or the Pokeball Factory. Now, here we have the two Power Rangers, or Pokemon Rangers. And one of them's going to be like, he'll let us in. You'll see. We'll go talk to him again. Okay. Shano, Wait! And you gotta love the cops too. Okay, so something's going on, and well, we got the rest of the uh, Pokemon Rangers right here. Did Shawnee and Trevs go running off just now? What's the deal? Uh, we were supposed to meet here too. I wonder what the matter is. Eek! Hmm. And uh, well, somebody's running away from here. <coughs> yes, you gotta love the cops. Holy crud baskets. Anywho, huh, hmm, what's going on? Well, I guess I'll go help him. Huh, Team Flare? Yep. There might be something happening inside. Let's check it out while the guard is gone. Hmm, alright, let's go right ahead and do that. With our girlfriend right here, and well, here is the Pokeball Factory. Now, there's a few things you guys need to check out. Now, if you go into this little maze area, you will be able to find yourself some items. And uh, I would recommend you guys getting them beforehand, so... The only thing is, where or oh where should we find them? Right here somewhere, or you know what? There you are. Found them, right there, Pokeball, or the Max the max Heater and all that crud. Alrighty. Well, let's go right here. And if you go straight to this corner, you'll be able to <coughs> find some stuff right here. And, yes, you'll be able to find a dust ball. Now, who'd ever thought you'd go into this corner? This is the first time I'm going right here. Now, let's go towards the left side. Now, hold on just a sec. Uh, yes, okay. So, I do have the item finder, and there should be... Oh, okay, there should be something right here somewhere. Hmm. Let's see, right here. Right here somewhere. Down here. There you go. Okay, so... Holy... <laughs> Holy buckets. Alright, let's see. Let's go right here. There you are. Here we found ourselves a burn heal. And... Let's see. There should be another item right here somewhere. And it should be here somewhere. There you are. Okay, so we found ourselves a Pokeball. And... Well, let's see. We're going to go towards the left or the right side right here. And yes, there will be some more items right here. So I just, I, again, suggest grabbing these items before you go into the Pokeball factory. And uh, let's see. Huh, not there. Let's go right around here. Okay, so it's going to be here. Here we found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And that right there will be needed because, well, there's going to be a lot of Pokeball battles or Pokemon battles right here. And obviously there is the visible one and we found ourselves a max revive which of course will be able to you know fully revive our pokemon can't believe that they don't sell those and uh well if you go right here there should be something i don't know okay there's nothing well it looks like we we picked up everything now let's go straight into the pokeball factory and uh, well as you guys can see, there is a Team Flare member waiting for us. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching it out. We're going to go with Moko because uh, Moko needs a little bit of, a, a, of experience and all that crud. And uh, can't that idiot outside even handle guard duty? 
No, not really. So sorry, but we're not we're not uh, offering tours right now. Ha! Ah, and well, would you look at that? Our girlfriend Serena is like, with a red suit like that, you must be a member of Team Flare, right? Do you have to take a part-time job at the Pokeball Factory to pay for that ugly suit? Ooh, damn! Homegirl right here has got jokes. Lots of jokes. So many jokes. Fantastic jokes. She is awesome. Get yourself a girl like that. What? How dare you mock Team Flare? Mariana, get them. I'll take care of this. You go on ahead. Get yourself a girl like that, guys. You know, backs you up. Insults like that. That is awesome. Now, let's go straight for our first battle right here. I'm the nameless Team, Gl uh, team Flare Grunt. I have yet to make a name for myself. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. So, here we have the, the Team Flare Grunt. Nameless and everything. Has a pretty cool Toxic Croak. And we're going to be coming out with Moko. Look at that. Looks like a big old booger right here. And... We are going to be switching out because, yes, we do not want that smoke. None of that smoke. Alrighty. So, here we are taking on or bringing out Star Fox. And here comes a Sucker Punch, which doesn't work. Let's go, Psyshock, for the win. And look at that. Quadruple damage. Maybe even more. And there you go. More points. And Moko grows to level 36. And Blade grows to level 43 right here. And yes, we are we are making progress, guys. Lots of progress with our Pokemon. I am going with a yes because I am that awesome. Okay, so unfortunately, we won't be able to get past this person. So we have to go straight to these portions right here. And, uh, well, the switch battling is going to continue. When I beat you, tears will fall from your eyes like Pokeballs rolling down the conveyor. Ah, yeah, don't say. Alrighty, let's go, and, uh, well, he's coming out with a Mighty Eno. That should be awesome. That should be great. And, well, Moko doing its best, looking like a big old booger right here. But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to go straight for Nacho. And, uh, well, it would seem that this Mighty Eno doesn't have Intimidate, so that's a good thing, I guess. And here comes Swagger. Probably shouldn't have done that because this Pokemon is going to be super, super strong now. Alrighty. Okay, so I am going to take that gamble. And we're going to go with a flying press. I do not want to take, like, m super damage with the, with the high jump kick. So here we go. Flying press. And just like that, Mighty Enna has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. And look at this. Nacho grows a level 45. And Moko doing nothing. Here comes Goldat. And, well, let's go straight for Nova. Let's get it. Alrighty. Nova, as you probably already know, hasn't had the best of luck these last few episodes. We're going to change it right here. Let's go straight for a Thunderbolt attack. Look at this. Oh, yeah. And Golbat nearly gets defeated. And here comes a an Air Cutter. Not so effective, but it is a critical hit. And yes, it's Leftovers? Shell Bell? Yeah, it's Leftovers takes effect right here. So let's go straight for another Thunderbolt attack. And bam. Alrighty. Okay, so look at this. Level 42. And, uh, well, let's see. Anybody else want some? No, they don't want some. Okay. So that's another victory for us right here. And uh, let's see. Can we make it past this guy? Yes, we can. And there will be some items uh, hiding around here. In this particular area, you will get yourself a quick ball. That is for any Pokemon that is super quick. Very, very fast and all that stuff. And we're going to go right here and see what else we can find. There's nothing. Going straight to uh, this port right here, to this conveyor. And uh, this will take us straight to this portion. And... You can kind of ambush this person or just tap on their back and... Well, actually, you know what? We're just going to keep Moko right there. And uh, don't worry. Be happy. Huh. It's kind of like they're telling me something. It's like, don't worry. Be happy. You know, one of my friends did that to me one time. Just put on the song, don't worry, be happy. Just to piss me off and all that stuff. 
yeah, get yourself some friends like I do, guys. It's just the, it's the funniest thing. So we're gonna switch it out to Nacho, and uh, Will. Nacho's looking pretty scary, but here comes a chip away attack. Not so effective. And we're gonna go with the fly and press attack, dual type attack right here. And bam! Alrighty. Look at that. Alrighty, okay. And well, Moko grows to level 37 right there. And here comes Mighty Anna. So this looks like it's uh, Nacho Libre's night, beating everybody when it can. And we're going to be going straight for a high jump kick. Yes, overkill. Oh, yes. Mariana defeated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't like that. And, well, this team, uh, Flare Grunt, is just not happy with us. And, well, we're going to go with the yes. Alrighty. Okay. So, who's next? I do not know. Uh, there could be another area right here. No, uh, or we could go right here, and there is a Pokeball. We will be finding a metal coat, which, as many of you guys already know, you attach this metal coat to an, all an Onyx or a Scyther, and you will evolve it into a Steel-type counterpart. And, uh, I do believe that you, you can get yourself a Steelix without, you know, trading, or, you know, without trying to evolve it through trade. You just get it, you know, through a trade. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's grab this. Found ourselves a timer ball. This right here is a pretty awesome ball. And, uh, let's see. Is there anything else right here? New. No. So now we're going to go straight upstairs, and we're going to be finding some more people. I would like to go this side. And this one will... Yeah, this one will change the conveyor belt's uh, direction. But first, I want to see what's inside these little uh, these little houses. And, well, there's people in suits or white cat, uh, white coats. And, well, we automated the, fa the factory to lighten the burden uh, uh, put on Pokemon. But it also means there are fewer people. So the factory was taken over almost instanta instantaneously. And uh, talk to this lady. If Pokeballs are stolen by Team Flare, we can become friends with Pokemon. Huh. Talk to this person. You're not wearing a red suit, so you're not a member of Team Flare. Then who are you? It doesn't matter. Anyway, beat Team Flare. Change the direction of the conveyor by using the switch, which we already know. And both you and your Pokemon should take a nice rest for a while. And bam. All right. So we're getting a, we are getting a nice rest right here. And uh, well, let's see. We should battle... Ah, this person right here who is blocking the way. Ball, 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 ultra ball. Huh. It's kind of odd. Very, very odd. Okay, so here we are taking on another Team Flare Grunt, and she will be coming out with a Swalot. This Pokemon right here is kind of like a big old non-Dragon-type version of Moko. And, well, like the like the like the like the You know what? I could go with Jordan the Goat, but that is a weakness. So let's go with Blade. Let's get it. Blade. Alrighty. So, here we go. Blade not being affected. We're going to go with a Swords Dance. And that right there will increase our physical attack by a lot. And I mean a lot. And uh, Is that an Encore? Uh-oh. Okay, so... Okay! Let's go right ahead and use Swords Dance. This is going to be a five-turn kind of deal. And here comes Amnesia. So if it's a five-turn deal, then it, chances are we won't be able to do anything else. So this is probably for nothing. Man, eh, what the heck? We're just going to increase our... Yeah, we're going to increase our, our, our physical attack right here. Why not, guys? Let's do it. Let's be a super strong... It won't go any higher, so let's see. That okay, so the encore has ended. It's time. Let's go nice slash right here. And this one is going to eliminate Swalot. Holy buckets. Okay. Alrighty, and Star Fox grows to level 48. Jordan the Goat, level 44. And uh, Team Flare Grunge uh, regretting putting an Encore on us and all that crud. Yeah, that's funny. Very, very funny. So, let's see. Let's go straight for the next next area right here. 
And that will return us back to that spot. So what we need to do is go straight to the switch in order to change uh, change directions to the conveyor belt. And yes, okay, so that's changed. And is there anything else? There's nothing. All right, so we're gonna be going here. And this will lead us straight to this stairway. And this person's gonna be like, I'm the nameless team flare grunt. Okay, never mind. But he said something like that. And this will lead us straight to this port, this house or this hut. And as you guys can see, Team Flair is, uh, you know, roughing up the owner of this place. Come on, work for Team Flair. If you just help us out, we wouldn't have to carry all these Pokeballs by ourselves. Or with the contribution of just, uh, you know, five million Poke Dollars, you could become a member of Team Flair. It's a no-brainer. What in the world are you Team Flair fools thinking? I'll never forgive any group that entices it or that tries to take all the Pokeballs for itself. Forget it. Quit wasting your time with this person. I agree. There's no one we can use here. Let's blow this place to smithereens. Ah. Well, what do we have here? An intruder. You're you're one to talk. You, please help me. Oh my, oh my. Getting a little desperate, are we, Mr. Company President? Well, I guess I'll just have to extinguish your little glimmer of hope. Alrighty. Let's do it. Bring it. So here we go, Team Flare Admin. Looking pretty uh, nice in the white suit. And, well, she'll be coming out with her Scraggy. Here comes Moko, the big old booger right here. And, well, what we're going to be doing is going straight to Nacho Libre. And, uh, well, the rest is history. Nacho Libre. Is about to, yeah, about to destroy this guy. Here comes a scary face attack, which will sharply lower our speed right here. And, well, let's go straight for a high jump kick. Just for overkill. There you go. High jump kick for the win. Alrighty. Okay. And everybody else is getting experience points. Now we're waiting on Hound Doom. Do we have a water type Pokemon? I, no, yeah, we don't, huh? That's funny. Never mind. Let's just continue on with uh, Nacho Libre right here. This is definitely the Nacho Libre show featuring Nacho Libre. Let's go. Another high jump kick. And uh, here comes a beat up attack by Houndoom. Not so effective. High jump kick does the thing and kicks it right in the face. Houndoom has been defeated. And, well, there you go. No more. What? Yes. It is a what? Alrighty, so we have defeated a team, uh, team flare admin, and she's like, "Come on, you didn't even have to go all out for a pitiful president like him." So lame. That's just embarrassing from uh, from an admin. Still, no worries. We're on it. This pair of scientists will clean up after you. Let's take them on two versus one. We must improve our chances of winning. And here comes our girlfriend, ready to fight our battles for us. We'll see about that. Sorry, I'm late. There's another one. One kid or two, it doesn't make a lot of difference. When we're the ones fighting together, our odds of victory increase exponentially. You might want to check your numbers. Are you really even scientists? Can you help me fight them, neighbor? Whatever you say, baby. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. And here it is. It is time. It is time to take on the Team Flare. Uh, well... Team Flair admin scientists or whatever the heck they are. And, well, here's Meowstic, and here is Moko. And unfortunately for us, we do not have an advantage. Huh, who is an advantage against these two, these two, these two people right here? Well, let's go with Jordan the Goat. Mainly because of its, uh, what was it called? It's, uh, well, it's ground type move and all that crud. So, here it is, uh, Jordan the Goat, and here comes a bite attack. That right there is going to be super effective against Meow Meowstic. And an assurance attack. They're going to be beating up on this Meowstic. And, uh, wow. Yeah, no, no fair. So here comes in Absol. Again, don't know why she... Okay, I'm just I'm just going to keep my opinions to myself. So let's go with a, a Bulldoze attack. And Odor Sleuth is going to identify these Pokemon. And here comes an assurance attack. Hitting Jordan the Goat, and here comes Bulldoze Attack. 
that right there is going to hurt people and lower everybody's speed. And, well, here comes the bite attack. And, you know what? Let's go with one more bulldoze attack. And that right there will eliminate Magnetric. Oh, yeah. It's not feeling so good right now. Here comes some experience points. Molko without doing every, anything. It is learning Muddy Waters after growing to level 38. And uh, Muddy Waters. Let's see. We're going to keep that move. I believe we do have Toxic, huh? We need that move. Muddy Waters. Let's see. Oh, crap, Baskus. That's a very good move. Ugh. God, this is a this is the hardest thing I could do. I think I do have toxic, huh? Let's see, let's see. How about for right now we just take away toxic? I think we do have toxic attack, like you know, in our storage, so it's not much of a loss. But we knew we do need rain dance just to evolve Moko into its final form. So just, uh, you know, just just work with me right here, guys. I know I get it. I'm kind of, like, jumping it a little bit. And here comes Greninja. Holy buckets. So, yeah, these Pokemon trainers, yeah, they've gotten uh, our, good old, our good old buddy to its last Pokemon. And, well, she's finishing off the last Pokemon with Greninja. You know, you could have just started off with Greninja. I'm just saying, baby. I am. And Blade grows to level 44, and just like that, there is a win. And uh, well, look at this—we get some more, we get some more monies. And just like that, oh my, oh my, so lame! What a shame! We got beat. Enough already! We've already stolen the Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. Let's call it good and leave. Whatever you say. Well. The, pres the president is going to be like, you saved us. Thank you so much. You're such astounding Pokemon trainers for being so young. Well, very well, then. I want to show my appreciation. I'll give you a Master Ball or a Big Nugget. Pick whichever one you like. I think you should pick. Or, yeah, I'll give you a Master Ball or a Big Nugget, which whichever you want. Now, believe it or not, guys, it doesn't matter which one you pick. You'll still get the other item. So we're going to go with the Master Ball because obviously that's, you know, that's the most valuable item right here. And as a bonus, you'll take this one too. A big nugget. And that right there is a... Uh, it is a big... Uh, well, it is an item that you can actually, you know... Yeah, sell for lots and lots and lots and lots. And I mean lots of money. I just have a feeling that you two will be put them to great use. You're different from those Team Flare people. Oh, and even I don't know... Even I don't know the proper way to use a big nugget. Still, that blasted Team Flare. What were they planning to accomplish by taking all those Pokeballs for themselves? Oh, I don't know. Just trying to take over the world or something. The plot thickens. It does. It thickens. Anywho. Well, we finally completed episode 30. You know, it's been almost a month and all that crud. Because they got sick and whatnot. Now, once you're leaving, the crew is going to be here. He's like, hey, do you think it's okay to go have a look around now? Yeah, we kind of already did. We did stuff and uh, it's over. I'm sorry. Team Flare messed up everything. It's not a good time right now. Team Flare? Have I heard that name somewhere? Would they be the people in the red suits from a minute ago? Yeah, that's right, Trevor. Team Flare. They look all, uh... They took all of the Pokeballs by force? But they're for everybody to use. <laughs> How awful. It seems like it would be best not to get involved with those guys. You're right, Trevs. Team Flare sure is terrible. What should we do now? According to the town map, Dindimilili, see, I can't even pronounce these names right here. Dindimilili Town is next. I love saying that. Probably gonna annoy a few of you guys and all that stuff. Sensei, you and Serena are really awesome. You're way stronger than those uh, bad guys. Still, try not to get in, uh, do anything crazy, okay? See ya. All right, okay. And the girlfriend herself is gonna be like, uh, "Thank you. Everyone's okay. Thanks to you." But if I keep, keep on relying on you like this, going on this journey is uh, going to lose its meaning. Wow. That, was that a jab at me? That was probably a jab at me. Yeah. It was probably a jab at me. I don't know. Now, we're getting a little bit of a message from the Holoclip, and it is... 
the news. We're bringing you the special bulletin. The, po the Pokeball factory in the area around Laver City has been attacked. The identities of those involved are unknown. However, this is not to be expected. For, uh, this is not to expected to have any effect on the sales of Pokeballs. Ah, you don't say. Alrighty. Okay. So let's go right ahead and move on to the next, the next thing, and that is probably heal up my Pokemon, do things, be things, and all that stuff. Laverse City. It's been nice. I've been here for like about a month and all that crud. And uh, yep. It has been nice and all that crud. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going east. Northeast, yes. We're going to be going east to the next town. Dedemelele town. I think that's what it's called. Who knows? But I just want to say thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys for watching, supporting, and all that stuff. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.